you'd, you'd have got your PhD around 74, you'd have finished? Yes, that's right. And, and were you uh, under contract, as it were, to return to GOPCO? I, I was, but uh, Dick Stanton sort of organised or manoeuvred me a uh, postdoc at, at the University of Toronto, um, which was terrific. Uh, this was CSIRO uh, back then used to fund these postdocs and you're allowed to go wherever you wanted to to study ore deposit issues. And uh, at the time, Tony Noldred was out in Australia uh, on a sabbatical. He was actually in Perth. And uh, I met up with Tony and he persuaded me that I should go to University of Toronto on this this, uh, this this fellowship and actually I went over there as a Tony postdoc but I wasn't I was determined not to work on nickel deposits <laughs> and because I'd been with Stanton then uh, he convinced me I should work on massive sulfides and uh, so yeah I had a really great So you hooked year. up with Steve Scott did you? Yes well Steve was just actually I spent a lot of time with um, Greg Anderson, a uh, geochemist. Very intelligent bloke. Yeah, fantastic. I learned quite a bit of thermodynamics from Greg, or I tried to. And of course, University of Toronto was, was really going great guns at that time. Oh, yes. Mid 70s. Some terrific people there. Steve Kessler was there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he just left when I arrived. That's right, because then Spooner showed up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but I spent, yeah, I learned a lot from Greg and Tony, and, and then Steve Scott was only just getting into. VMS interest, he sort of was still at the experimental stage. And that that time, uh, in the early 70s, University of Toronto had been really significantly influenced by Australians. Nick Arndt, Tony Green. Yes, that's um, right, both Nick and Tony were PhD students yeah. at the same time I was a postdoc. In fact, we all and, occupied and the then, same room. And then the next generation of Paul Spry and Taras Brinzia came along. That's right, yes. It's just superb. superb. Yeah. No, it was a great place to be. Yeah.